The mnemonic I want you to remember is Q-tips. You know, those little things with the cotton on them, Q-tips. Q-tips is basically a mnemonic that tells you what should be in a good contract. It should be the quantity. How many houses are we talking about? Usually one. What is the T? What is the time for the performance on the contract? Is it a lease option? Is it three years, five years? Uh, what's the time frame for the acceptance of the contract? Um, the I stands for identifying the parties or also it can stand for what is the intent of the transaction. Okay, so you've got to identify all the different parties. You've got to, the P stands for, tell me, come on guys. Price. Price, thank you. Who said that? Me. Corey. Who's me? Corey. Corey, okay. This stands for the price and then the S once again stands for the subject matter. Okay, what are we talking about? So these are basically what you can do. You could do a real you could do a real estate contract on a bar napkin if you wanted to. Might not judge might not like it, but if it's signed, it identifies the property, it identifies the location, who are the pro, uh, the date, the um, the financial parts, the intent of the whole contract, and it's signed and it's bound by some kind of consideration, uh, property for performance, property for money. That is a contract, boys and girls. Okay, and that's kind of what you need to do in all your agreements. I just, by the way, I put it in the Skype. Uh, I updated all the contracts, guys. So um, they're updated. They're a little bit more organized uh, for you guys. And I have a lot of other forms in there also. Um, so the purpose of contract is to protect yourself. That contract is basically, that is, you know, that is the way you can enforce your agreement. If you, get a, if you do a contract with somebody today um, on a lease purchase, or a sales agreement or something like that. And a week later, they call you up and say, well, we changed our mind, Michelle. Um, you know, I know you're a good guy and you're, you're, you're you know, and everything, but we want out of that, uh, we, uh, we really, we just want to sell it to somebody else. They gave us a better offer. And you have a signed contract, Michelle. What are you going to do? Show them the contract. They know it. They, they know the, yeah. And what are you going to say to them? Gee, Michelle, uh, can you let us out of the agreement? I know we signed a contract a week ago about that lease purchase, but really we just, we just want to, um, you know, we just, uh, we found it to tell you the truth. Somebody gave us a cash offer and we'd like you to release us out of that agreement. And uh, how are you thinking here, sir? Because we have a signed contract. I know, but you're a nice guy. You're one of those Swedes. All Swedes are really nice people. You know, you're Vikings. You're good people, you know. Yeah, and, uh, and are you also nice? Because you're not, you're not nice right now. Oh, well, that's a little, that's kind of a, kind of a personal attack there. Yeah, but you're, you're, you're saying that you want to, uh, uh, you know, break a, a commitment here. Yes, I do. Yes, I am. Yeah, and uh, so how are you thinking there? I just want, uh, want you to release me out of the contract. Okay, bottom line, can you enforce that agreement? Off the role play. Yes, but it may not be worth the time and trouble, so you might want to just ask him, so how much are you willing to, mm -hmm. to pay me to, to, to release it? That's right. It's a negotiable. You could pay. You can negotiate. Very good, Sean. You can negotiate to pay to be released from the contract. The alternative is you could put a lease pendants or a cloud on the property so they can't sell it to anybody and it's tied up for a long period of time. So you could do a lot of different things. You can do a lot of different things here. One question, uh, Claude. Sure. Yeah. Have you ever uh, made a, wrote a contract? where you're not sure if it's, if it's going to hold in, in court, but, but you want to do it, you know, just to, to make a deal. And you, you kind of uh, feel that the deal is more important than your trust in, 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 in you know, you trust people, you know, so you, so you make it anyway. Ronald Reagan, when he was negotiating a nuclear proliferation treaty with the Russians, um, uh, the, he used to say, we, we trust the Russians, but we need to verify. Trust, but verify. In this case, we always get a contract. Okay. Um, so I, I don't know if that's answering your question, but the purpose of a contract is to bind, to make everything binding. Okay. Verbal is worthless in real estate. You get a written agreement. Um, and even if you're negotiating, you're getting something started. And I think I know where you're going now. Um, one of the, one of the contracts I love to use is a letter, uh, is a simple, um, letter of intent. And in your, 
Dropbox file, there's a separate file under contracts, which is number 10 or 11, and then there's a little subfile. It has sample letters of intent. A letter of intent can be construed as an offer. It could also, if it is signed, and it has all the specifics I talked about in Q-tips, it could be a binding agreement also. Does it mean you can use a more elaborate contract later? Absolutely. The thing is to get into that dialogue with people where you're getting commitment, where you're getting paperwork to them. Even if you don't think they're gonna sign it, get them a letter, simple one-page letter of intent. Uh, there, there's, a, there's a file with uh, 15, 20 samples there where you can make multiple offers. Okay, you can make one offer, you can make an option to purchase, you can make a cash deal, you can do a seller finance, uh, uh, a cash for deed type of thing. You can do all these different things, but get it in, get in the habit of getting these templates on your computer and sending offers through email. Hit that little button, send that PDF or use DocuSign if you like that. Um, and it works great and it works great. So this a letter of intent might be the starting point uh, for a lot of the contracts that you do. Did I answer your question, uh, Michelle? Yeah. yeah. Um, when I make offers, um, let me show you here. Here is one of my here. Is